Good morning. It's Sharon White from Copycat Cards, and I would like to demonstrate how I made this card using some brand new stamps from Stampendous. They very graciously sent me uh, several stamp sets, and I am so happy to be using them. And this is the card I made using uh, the Laurel Birch butterfly set. So uh, let's begin. I uh, am so happy because this set came with not only these wonderful butterfly images, but it also came with a stencil. And when you pull out the little parts in the middle to create the stencil, you end up with these great little pieces which act as a mask. So I think that's uh, pretty wonderful in the way they did that. And also, this set comes with dies, which is another wonderful thing. So I'm going to set all of these aside for the moment, but where I can reach them. I also want to show you this fabulous set. I don't see, oh, this one's called Big Words Thank You. And um, I've seen a lot of cards done recently with these big scripty, um, words and so this set has these words and uh, lots of little sentiments that can go along with the different um, bigger words and then I also was sent this set which is the same idea but with different words and today I'm using the big big words thank you so I have all my supplies ready hopefully my little one won't uh, make his presence known, but it's very likely that he will. His name is Bear and he's a little chorky. Um, and uh, he's a vocal little dog. So what I did for this card is I used my um, Distress Oxides in Picked Raspberry, Carved Pumpkin, and Fossilized Amber. I used a little Pumice Stone and Black Soot. I stamped my butterfly images initially with the Versafine Onyx Black. And I think the last thing I need to get out is my Versamark pad, which is right here. So I'll have that handy by as well. I think I have all my pieces and parts ready. So let's get inky. The first thing I did for this card is stamp the butterflies. And to do that, going to lay a piece of paper under my cardstock to catch the excess overflow of ink. So I started with their largest butterfly. and did the next one. You'll notice that I have my blue painter's tape all over my um, craft mat and that's to help me as a guide for keeping my stamping project within your viewing range. And hopefully I will stay within it. this fabulous butterfly and this one And lastly, the smallest butterfly with my bigger block. And for this one, I just kind of filled in some of the empty spots. 
I tried to angle him a little bit so it didn't look too funny. Hmm, I didn't plan this one very well, but we'll just squeeze them in. And it's okay if it overlaps a little bit. I always like to stamp off the page. All right, that's that. Let me set this aside. And um, the next thing I did, I'm going to clear a little space here on my table. because I'm going to use my craft mat for creating my background first. So I'll remove this, set that there. And the first color I used was picked raspberry. A little spritzing. Pretty pink. And a little heat tool. I like to dry in between colors because it helps to keep the colors true. I think the Distress Oxides are one of the most fabulous inks ever. When they first came out, <clears throat> I wasn't all about getting some because I thought, I already have Distress inks, they're fabulous, they do what I want, I don't need more. But I kept seeing amazing cards made with them, and they have a really distinctive look. Kind of a velvety, chalky look. And because they're so reactive with water, and they layer on top of each other so nicely and don't get all muddied, they're really a pleasure to work with. So thank you, Tim Holtz. dry. A little fossilized amber, which is one of my favorites. The water. A few little dots of yellow up there. All right. Clean that up. A little drying. So I guess my card is an emboss resist. So the next thing I did was a little bit tedious, but um, using the stencil, I laid it down over each butterfly. And uh, when my husband edits this video, he'll probably speed up through some of these um, parts. side that's why it's not quite matching up and it's hard to see the clear acetate on top of the cardstock so what I'm going to be doing is applying Versamark with a sponge dauber to just the butterfly and I have that here And my sponge dauber. Make sure I got all of this little 
areas. Looks like I did. And I'm going to emboss each one, um, one at a time. Here comes the noisy heat gun. That looks beautiful. Now I don't know if if you can really see the light shining on that glossy part, but that looks beautiful. And there goes Bear. Let's do uh, this one down here so it's a little bit away from the one I just finished in case it's not quite dry. I think the glossy, the glossy parts look so stunning against the uh, soft oxide. This one, oh, this one. I wave it around to make sure that is dry <clears throat> and cooled. Well, maybe I'll do this one down here. So this is a little bit tedious, but not. It goes fairly quickly. And on my first card, I had uh, clear emboss the small butterflies, but I think um, to save a little time um, and also to just see how it looks, I will not emboss the small butterflies on this version. Aren't these Chinese food takeout containers great for embossing powders? So, I want to melt that. Alright then, I think there's just the one butterfly left. This one. Stencil seems to be staying in place pretty well just by holding it with one finger. All right, that's that. 
So that. One more dip. I'm done with that. I'm going to hold it up and hopefully you can see the shimmer and shine on just the larger butterflies and I think it is stunning. I'm going to bring back my piece of white paper because I'm going to now use my pumice stone stress ink. This is not an oxide and um, I have one of these little handles um, and I find it's really handy. I don't have to worry about trying to store a whole bunch of them. And each of my ink pads has its own little um, dauber, um, little circle thing on the back. And uh, I like it that way. All right, so now to just sponge on the over color. Should have seen the very first card I made, which was not this one. Um, I made another one. When I was thinking of the concept, this is what I had done initially and definitely didn't like it. So that went into the trash, but I thought this is a great technique. I need to uh, work on it a little bit and come up with something that's keepable. So I like, I like what I ended up doing. All right, so the gray is not too, too dark. That's pumice stone. Let me put its little pad back on and tuck that away. Then just take a paper towel and wipe off the embossed areas and look how that color just glows. I think that's beautiful. I love that. And I think I had said I was going to use um, black soot to go around the edges, but I'm actually not. I'm going to use my VersaFine because Versa VersaFine is just such a deep, dark, beautiful shade of black. And I'm just doing the edges to Always add a little bit more in the corners. All right. And again, wipe off the embossed images with the paper towel so that color can really come through. All right, that looks great. Um, now, the thing is about this, I wish that these big word sets had come with dies for the big words, and I didn't check Stampendous website to see if they actually make the dies, but I just didn't get the dies. Um, so the first thing I did for this, I stamped and embossed it with black, and then I thought, oh, I'll use my new Scan and Cut and um, go around it. And I did do that, but I don't know why the black embossed image didn't scan very well in my scan and cut. 
and um, it actually only cut out two of the centers so I ended up fussy cutting this, which was kind of a pain and and a little bit annoying because I bought the scan and cut for the purpose of doing this kind of thing. Um, so anyway, there's that. Um, let's see, I have my things set aside. Everything was pre-cut and pre-measured. And I just got my new Glue Glider Pro refills. I love this. I know a lot of you use the very large red ATG uh, adhesives, and um, you love it, but it, they just look so big and bulky to me. But I wanted something a little more um, convenient than using little mono adhesive thingies. So I discovered these, and I've been using these for a couple years, I guess, and I buy the refills on Amazon. Um, if you were to buy a refill at, say, um, Michael's or AC Moore, they're about $12 a piece, which I think is a bit ridiculous. Uh, but I buy a pack of three from Amazon for about $24, and it just pops in and out like this. You have the option to insert it so that you can pull your adhesive on or push it onto your thing, and I choose to pull. All right. I went over the edge a little bit. My white, which now I have little smudges on. Some people go all around all four sides and I try to conserve a little bit of my tape and just do little sections. A couple in the center to hold it down. One more there. Pop it onto my black. Eyeballing. We get really good at eyeballing, don't we? Now, because a lot of card making and stamping is imprecise, it's uh, I don't worry if it's not perfectly aligned. Okay, so there's that. Um, now I have this, and I am going to just stamp out my big word U. This time I'm just going to use VersaFine. I'm not going to emboss it. I don't know why it would make any difference in my scan and cut to have it. Uh, my piece of paper is too small. Here's a larger scrap. I just got the scan and cut a week or so ago and I'm still, ah, uh, see, I don't like that. Why did that do that? Let's try it again. And I'm still learning it. Well, that's not beautiful, but I'm going to go over to my machine and I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. I don't love how this came out. It did a beautiful job going around the edges, although I had um, wanted a little white border. It didn't cut out the centers of these, and I don't like this without being embossed for a nice crisp image. So I'm going to stop the card right now. Right now, um, I think that you see how I made it. Um, the only thing to do is to add your sentiment and voila, you're finished. So without finishing my card, I hope it was still helpful to you and that you will enjoy trying to recreate something like this. Thanks for stopping in.